This is the figure of the Anderson Bridge. Here we can see one coil. Our objective will find the inductance of this coil. A capital R1 is the internal resistance of the coil. This is the arm resistance R1, R2, R3, R4. This is the capacitance and this one is the variable resistance. At balance condition, in the detector, here the detector is the headphone or CRO or even multimeter. There will be no potential drop between these two points. So this drop is I3, R3. Basically I3 will be equal to I1 because no current is flowing to the detector. So I1 is equal to R3 and I1 R3 that is E3 and this drop, uh, capacitive drop IC into XC that is IC by J omega C will be equal. <coughs> so now I will draw the phasor diagram. So first drop is, so this one is the reference line, this is the current I1. Now I1, we have in the first term, I1 into small R1 plus capital R1. This is the resistive drop, then we have we have inductive draw for L1, I1, omega, L1. The, the resultant is E1. Now, in E3 we have, <coughs> we have I1, R3 is equal to E3 is equal to IC by J omega C. This one is the, the this drop. Now we have <coughs> current through the capacitor, the IC will lead E3. So capacitive, the, the current through the capacitor current will be, this one will be IC. And IC into R, that is this current will be in the same phase. So this drop will be in the same phase. So this one will be IC into R. This is the IC into R. So, see this E3, this is IC into XC plus this is equal to E4. That is, we have E3, we have IC into R drop. So resultant is resultant is E4. So E4 is equal to I4 R4. So this is this one is I4. So this, this I4 is equal to sum of I2 plus IC. So So 
so this is IC and this one is I4 so we have I am drawing it again. This one is I1. This one is I1 into small r1 plus capital R1. Um, so this is E3 I, I1 R3 is equal to E3 is equal to I C by J omega C. So this one will be capas or inductive drop drop I1 omega L1. This one is E1. Now we have this is I C. This one is I see in two R, same face with I C the drop and we project it. The I see in two R drop plus E3 is equal to E4. E4 is equal to E4 is equal to I4 R4. I4 R4. Now I4 is equal to I2 minus IC or I2 is equal to I4, I4 plus IC. I4 plus IC. This one is equal to I4. So this say this one is IC. So this is I2. This is I2. This is I2, R2, E2. We have E1 plus E, E1 plus E3. We have E1 plus E1 plus E3 is equal to One plus is it is equal to E. Now again E4. E4 plus E2 is equal to E. This one is E4, this one is E2. So the E2 plus E4 again E. So this is the phasor diagram. 